you've got two boys, they're eight and 12, and you say you often go and do the school run, the, the shop like this, you don't see any problem in it. Yeah, so I quite often, I'm not gonna lie, I just, if, it, if it's half an hour extra in bed or getting a full glam on for school, I am taking that half an hour and then I just shove on a onesie like this, or if I've got pajama bottoms on, one of my husband's hoodies, hair on the top of my head, no makeup, run them in school and then I come home and get dressed. I don't see the problem. I, don't, I really, really find it a struggle, people judging how I go on the school run. My kids are in their full uniform, always clean, presentable, everything they need. Why, why is anyone looking at me? Do you, do you think it's because some people might say, well, maybe if you're still in your pajamas, it suggests that you haven't had a shower, so you haven't had a wash yet? Well, I don't. I normally don't have a shower before I go on the school run, and then I come home and get fully dressed. Get dressed then. So I sort the kids out in the morning. I get up with them. I sort them all out. I just shove on my onesie, jump in the car. The school's two minutes down the road. I have to do two separate schools, and then I come home and get dressed for the day. What you about the, the buffet? Yeah, okay. always. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the buffet on. On, uh, on holiday? Right, so I've never personally done this, but I just wouldn't even notice. Like, I wouldn't notice. I find, I think that's my whole point. You, if I was turning up to school every day, full glam, boobs out, hair done, I would be that mum, wouldn't I? Oh, she, you know, she thinks she's something that she's not. I'd be slagged off for that. I'm slagged off if I wear a onesie. Why? Live well, let live. in 2016, a school in Darlington banned parents from wearing pyjamas on the school run. Uh, the supermarket Tuffins in uh, Craven Arms in Shropshire has banned customers from wearing nightwear. Why did, <clears throat> is this an issue? It's an issue because it shows a lack of lack of personal standards, if I'm being honest, and it, it doesn't set a very good tone. If you've got children, for example, whether you're going to the supermarket with them, the school run, on holiday with them, if they are seeing the parents or whoever's taking them on holiday sort of not making much of an effort, especially when you're taking them on the school run in particular in their formative years, then they will in their later life or maybe even in their, their childhood as well think that actually they can get away with doing the bare minimum. And it, we're not asking you to, you know, as you said in your vernacular, to get a full glam on. You don't need to, to be absolutely sort of flawless when you go on the school run. We're all just asking you to run a comb through your hair and, and put something on that isn't nightwear or or loungewear, as, as gorgeous as, as the onesie is, and I'm Thank sure you. your full range of onesies but are, but it just we, we want are. something a little bit more daily. Well, I'm, I'm trying to teach my children, actually, so I totally disagree with you, not to care what people look like. Worry about yourself. My kids are always presentable. My kids are very, in, especially my eldest, he's now 12, he loves doing his hair, that's a dry... That takes up all my time in the morning. If one bit goes out of place, you know, Rocky's not going to school until I fix it. But my point with them is, is I don't want to be judged of how I look. I do, you know, I, don't, I do not care what you think I look like. I and couldn't that's... care less. I'm married, I've got two boys, I love my life. I don't care. OK, and that's so, fabulous. And I don't want the boys to turn around and say to people, oh, that you don't, you've got a low standard because you don't look as good as me. And, and that, that's lovely, but sadly, people in life do. We are fairly, you know, not just sort of humans in this country, humans in any country. We are superficial, we do judge people. We should within a, about, No, I know we shouldn't, but there's no so point saying we shouldn't. But when it comes happens. to sort of oh, no. setting an example then, so later yeah. on, let's just say one of your boys gets a job in the city where he has yeah. to wear a suit or he has to be suited and booted, yeah. but he's learned that actually from you, you shouldn't care what well, I wear. So well, what happens if they yeah. then go on through life with that same okay. attitude as I, their mum? I mean, you, you, you guys know me. I love being glam. So when I, go out, when I go out, I'm always, you know, I love dresses, I love heels, I love being glam. My point is, in the mornings, my priority for the school run is not making myself look amazing. Mm. I don't We're not care. asking for my, amazing, but, though. My, but, but, you know, how it, this, I think I look cool in is this. Is it ever it's acceptable? Absolutely... Is it ever, ever acceptable? What, on the school run? Well, or... Is this acceptable? For, for what? For school run. Um, well, the, the, in t neck up, yes, you've made, you've obviously made. No, an not neck up because that's this is. I don't look like this when I wake up. I've, no. I've, I've put. I mean, I did my makeup in the car, if I'm honest. So you know, but I've got full makeup on. I've curled my hair. When I woke up this morning, mm. my hair looked like I've been dragged through a bush backwards. My face did not look like this. So forget the face because again, so would my face have not been acceptable this morning because I haven't m put makeup on because it no, didn't look the, like this. No, the makeup this. thing is not what I'm. It's, it's right, more so, the clothes. So it's this, the outfit. Is this not acceptable? Would you wear that in bed? Yeah. Right. Well, wearing wearing nightwear anywhere that isn't your bed or bedroom, I think is. But is, is pretty... it? I'm asking. Is what, this what, acceptable? Let, let, no. me, let me uh, right. let me let me just uh, get a little a little bit more out of William here. And what about holiday? What about mm. breakfast buffet? 
No, I mean, a, a hotel, is, as um, many hotels, all hotels, encourage all guests to relax, whatever sort of type of hotel you're in, wherever you are in the world. But, you know, that relax relaxation is only to a point. When you're in the communal areas, the bar, the, the breakfast room, the dining room, there is a sort of a, a part of the agreement of going into a hotel is that actually just put something sort of it's slightly more appropriate. hygiene as well. I mean, if you've been exactly. wearing something in bed it's all night hygiene, and then no. you come down to a buffet where people are eating, is yes. that fair? And you get a bit of scrambled egg on your onesie, for example, and then you're going to wear that in bed the next night no, and lie on the obviously, egg. No, but obviously, I don't wear the same onesie but in bed we're, every we're, night. We're opening up to the broader to, like, well, picture I, here I and think, there are people that I just, are, clearly are. Yeah, I, I wouldn't What's notice got up it. What's she It's a big spike. I I, thought it was I mean, I think put... that is more unacceptable. <laughs> I would find people like... I would find it more unacceptable. <laughs> people eating badly, like, I'd notice that. You know, like if you had someone eating really badly, I'd yeah. be gagging. I wouldn't notice what someone was wearing. I'd just try not to judge you... And also, you don't know what mum's done in the just, morning. Can I just... Let me just... Because before... we're running out of time now, unfortunately, <laughs> which is a shame. But, uh, but, but, but when you relax, mm. uh, William, what do you, do you wear? <laughs> what do I wear? Well, I sometimes take the tie off. What do you wear in bed? What? Oh, I beg your pardon, madam. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we'll leave it. Thank you both very much. Thank so you, Holly.